Welcome to a tutorial on how to determine relative extrema or local extrema on the TA-89. We want to determine all relative extrema for f of x and g of x. Let's begin by graphing the function f of x. So from the home screen we press diamond f1 for the y equals screen. Let's enter f of x and y1, so we'll press up, clear. Now enter x raised to the power of 2 minus x minus 6, enter. Now let's graph this using the standard window. To make sure we have the standard window, we'll press F2 for zoom, and then 6 for zoom standard. Notice how this is a nice window for the given function. Also notice how the graph is a parabola, and this low point represents a relative minimum. And because we have a parabola, and this is the lowest point on the entire function, we could also classify this as an absolute minimum but because the directions ask for relative extrema, we'll classify it as a relative minimum. So the next step is to calculate the coordinates of this point. To do this, we press F5 for math. Because it's a low point, we select option 3 for a minimum. And now it's asking for the lower bound, which means we place the cursor to the left of the low point, let's say approximately here, and then press Enter. When it asks for the upper bound, we place the cursor to the right side of the low point, let's say here, and press Enter. Notice how the cursor is on the low point, and the coordinates of this point are 0.5 comma negative 6.25. So this point gives us the relative maximum. Let's write down the coordinates of this point, 0 0.5 comma negative 6.25. When we talk about relative extrema, in this case the relative minimum, the relative minimum is the y value or function value of negative 6.25, and the location is the x value of 0 0.5. So let's write this as a sentence for f of x, the relative minimum is the function value or y value of negative 6.25 at the location of x equals 0.5. Now let's determine the relative extrema of g of x. So we'll press diamond y equals, up, clear the old function, and enter x raised to the power of 3 minus 9 divided by 2 x raised to the power of 2 minus 12 x plus 3, and enter. Let's try graphing this using the standard window. Because we already have the standard window, we can press graph by pressing diamond F3. To get a better view of this function, though, we will have to adjust the window. We can eliminate some of the horizontal axis here on the left by increasing the x maximum. We can see a high point here, and we know there's a low point somewhere in this region here. We'll have to decrease the y minimum in order to see this low point. So let's press diamond F2 for window. Let's change the x max to negative 5. Enter. We'll leave the x max at 10, the x scale at 1. Let's change the y minimum to, let's say, negative 100. Enter. Let's change the y max to 20. Enter. And let's change the y scale to 10. Enter. Let's regraph the function now and see if we have a better view. We may have to come back and make additional adjustments. So we'll press diamond F3 for graph. With this window, we do have a nice view of the given function, g of x, where this high point represents a relative maximum, and this low point represents a relative minimum. Let's determine the coordinates of these two points. So we'll press F5. Let's find this high point first. So we'll select option 4 for maximum, left bound, means move the cursor to the left side of the high point. So we'll press the left arrow until we're on the left side. Let's say here, press Enter. Upper bound means move to the right side of the high point. Let's say here, press Enter. The cursor is on the high point, and the coordinates are negative 1, comma, 9.5. Let's write this down. So from negative 1, comma, 9.5, we know this represents a relative maximum. Now let's go back and find this low point 
which will give us a relative minimum. So we'll press F5, option three this time for minimum. Lower bound, so move the cursor to the left of the low point. Let's say here, press enter. Upper bound, move to the right side of the low point. Enter. The cursor is on the low point and the coordinates are four comma negative 53. Again, this represents a relative minimum. So let's write this as a sentence. We can now say that for g of x, the relative maximum or local maximum is the y value or function value of 9.5 at x equals negative 1 and the relative or local minimum is the y value of negative 53 at x equals 4. So while sometimes you may see relative extrema or local extrema given as ordered pairs, I think it's important to recognize that the relative or local max or min value is the function value and the location is the x value. I hope you found this helpful.